Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. We are going to attempt to clean some silver and other coins among some other objects with this, an ultrasonic cleaner, the CDS-100. Let's explore. I was sent this for review, and the good people from this company that offer the digital ultrasonic cleaner. And we're gonna take a look at the contents inside. This actually is not all that expensive. I'm gonna post a link in the description below where you can purchase one of these as well. It's a way to be able to clean your coins in a non-destructive manner. Now, nonetheless, among uh, coins, especially numismatic coins, even though this is a very gentle cleaning, uh, object, it's an ultrasonic cleaner, it is probably not good to clean your more prized coins. In other words, coins that have a tremendous numismatic value. Uh, so use as your own risk in that regard. But nonetheless, we're going to we're gonna run it through its paces. But first, let's take a look at it uh, and see what the contents are inside. There it is. It is a digital ultrasonic cleaner. And it comes with a manual and comes, comes nicely packaged and um, everything comes in plastic. We're gonna take all of this out. It comes complete with a power cord here. So let's pull this out. Everything, very nice, compact little unit here as well. Very nice. Very nicely done. You can see it has a basket where you can put your objects in and it uses water. This is a thing to hold things like watches. Yeah, you can even put watches in there to get the cleaning done. And as you can see, here is where you put your water. And when you're done with your water, uh, you will pour it out on this side. There's where the arrow is pointing. Some of the demos I've seen from this did not show that, but uh, I think that's important to point out uh, because you can pour the water in there. You wanna pour it out from that side where the arrow is. So there it is. So stay tuned. We will um, demonstrate how this works. Now we have it all plugged in and ready to go. The CDS-100 uses 42,000 hertz of ultrasonic energy waves to create millions of microscopic cleaning bubbles that essentially lift dirt and grime away in a gentle manner. It can produce a deep and thorough cleansing to penetrate the most difficult areas, but we're gonna put it to the test. Here we have the lid, we have the watch and other items that you can put in there to hold. We're not gonna use that for this portion, but we have a basket which we're gonna set the items in. And we're gonna do a couple at a time. It says that you can use tap water, but I'm gonna use actually bottled water here and fill it up just to the maximum. maybe even a little bit less than that. I don't think you have to go all the way up there. So I'm gonna put that in. We're gonna take out our first, we're gonna start with a tough one actually. You know, let's start with this. Um, let's start with these constitutional coins here. This is a Barbara half dollar. I'm gonna take it out of its plastic. You can see there, it's not necessarily tarnished, uh, but it does have a little bit of dirt on it, a little bit of grime, you could say from wear which is common for constitutional coins, and uh, but it does not get rid of toning. So if silver is toned, you are not going to see that reflected in the cleaningness at, uh, from other demos that I've seen of this product. But we're going to take and drop that coin in there, and then a quarter as well. Got it set for 180 seconds. You can see that quarter especially has some grime on the reverse there so we're going to see what happens when we do it for 180 seconds there's several different settings on this we have 480 600 90 and 180 we're going to do the 180 See how they look. So 
They're a little bit cleaner, but they're not noticeably much different. It may take a couple more cycles for these, but you can see that uh, some of the um, some of the dirt was lifted off of it, but not a whole lot. Uh, but nonetheless, it does may take a few more cycles to get that ingrained dirt out of there. But you can see that it does work, as it does show some of the uh, some of the extra heavier dirt that was lifted off of it. Let's try another piece. Let's try this coin that has definitely got lots of grime on it. This is a 50% silver coin and the majority of it is copper and it's got some, uh, some, some green coppery colored grime on it. So this is gonna be quite interesting to see how this looks when we're done with it. We're gonna do this one for a little longer a nice sensitive touch to it. It doesn't click when you press these buttons. So we're gonna do this one for 480 seconds. I should have put it in the basket. I'm gonna put that and the this coin in the basket Look at how grimy that one is. And then we'll continue it. Is that way it'll get it from the bottom. As you can see, it didn't take off the the uh, really grimy stuff in between the crevices, but it did shine it. It is it is shinier. It is uh, definitely an improvement from what it was before. Like I said, a coin like this where a lot of the finger uh, grease and things like that and grime gets in between the crevices of this high relief metal here, this silver round may take a couple of more cycles at the highest setting to get it out, but you can see a noticeably shinier surface there. And then the one that was really grimy there, it's much the same type of thing. We did see some of the uh, material come out. And this side especially looks much better uh, as the, uh, the, the space between the O and the L, all that stuff came out. Again, a couple more cycles of this uh, would have done wonders for this uh, over the course of time. As you can see, the water here is quite grimy. Uh, and so you can tell it works, uh, but these things have never been cleaned before. And we're gonna try something here. Before we take this water out, we are going to put in something that probably has never been done before, but my razor blades for my automatic razor. Let's see what it does to these. As you can see, these are pretty grimy. Uh, in the hand here. So we are going to put these in here and see if that ultrasonic uh, frequencies can take some of this crap out of here. Let's see. see how these look where well, that water gets hot or gets warm too as you can see it has pulled off some of the material there uh, so it has been a pretty good success we're gonna have to uh, probably should have taken a little bit more of that um, hair and stuff out of there but it did remove a good amount of it it's pretty remarkable now I'm going to dump this water I'm gonna do it off camera but you'll notice that I'm gonna dump it where the arrow is. That's the best way to do it. Again, I'm using the bottled water to fill it up here. No more than that max line.
And we're gonna, this time, we're going to do PVC damaged coins. So we're gonna remove these from there. Flips and two by twos and see what will work there, some of these coins. See the haze on that? This silver proof half dollar has a big spot right there under the word we. We're gonna see if we can get rid of that as well. Put them all in the basket with the water. I did put this piece of jewelry in there as well. It seemed to shine up really nicely there. But the overall grime and haze on these coins uh, would probably take a few more cleanings because it did take a little bit of that grime off of this Belize $1 coin but it would take much more cleaning for longer periods to make that happen. As far as haze, maybe a little bit, a little bit of the PC, PVC haze has been removed. Um, so it's a, a measured difference there. In terms of harder to get spots, it virtually did nothing to remove that spot from the Wii there. My guess is that's probably stuck on this on that coin. Here is some great hazing or maybe even milk spotting. We know that it will not remove milk spots and that very well could be a milk spot there on this coin. And uh, nothing gets rid of milk spots as most of us know. As far as PVC hazing, well, we can see it's still there on this coin, it appears to be just as bad as it was before. I'm gonna try to see if I can scrape some of that off. It does come off relatively easy though, with my light touch of my finger, so it may loosen it up some. Let's take a look at the Puerto Rico silver corner. And we can see there that it is still on it, but it, I think it has loosened it up to the point where if I just lightly touch it, it moves it away. You see that? So I deem that as a success. Um, now, I put this to the test with some pretty brutal, brutally dirty coins. And uh, you can see that there is a difference. I think a few more... Uh, times trips inside of this container into the tub here, as it were. And this thing would be a, a, a very successful venture. But I wanted to just to review this for the company. I do think it could be a little bit more powerful um, than, than they ever, I mean, it is powerful, but I think it could stand to be even more powerful. But for about $40 or so, uh, it's not a bad deal, I think. And I'm going to put a link to it in the description of this video. But they sent this to me to review. And uh, so far, I'd say it was a uh, it was a partial success. I won't. I was a little hoping it would be work a little bit better than it did. But I think if it was a more powerful unit, it'd be much better because it's going to take several times to clean this stuff off. And so, do not expect just magic when you put it in right away. It's going to take a little bit of time and several uh, trips inside of the tub here, inside of the basket, to make it uh, to really get some results. But I've, I'm very optimistic that we will get there with some of these pieces. So let me know what your thoughts are. But that's my honest review of the CDS 100. I think it's a good machine. It's nice, portable. It's only 20 ounces. 
but I do think it could stand to be uh, more powerful than what it is. So I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to all of you for taking the time to watch this video and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.